see, that's how you got that on your lip, from doorknobs, knob jobs. So for Jimmy Carter, it was gas a hall. And for Obama, it's solar energy. But what does it always come down to? Oil. The pipeline. When I was 21 years old, 35 years ago, everybody was talking about, you got to get a job on the pipeline. It's going to be jobs, jobs, jobs. It's the pipeline. We need a pipeline. We got to have that pipeline. It's oil, oil, oil. I'm looking around the rooftops in my neighborhood, and I see a little chimney, and there's roofing cement around it made out of oil. Well, we can't, we can't all use slate. Don't have enough slate to go around, so we're going to have to make these here shingles out of pieces of cardboard with cinders all embedded with oil. And then we're going to make streets and driveways and highways, and it's all made out of oil. The president is on the tarmac, and it's made out of oil. And he's flying around in the airplane, and uh, on, on fuel, it's made out of oil. Hey, lady, you don't look so hot. You want to hear, you put on some of this here makeup, put it around your eyes and on your lips and all. It's made out of oil. What in the hell we need water and food for when we got oil? Racism is still a pertinent part of this whole thing, too, because it was racism that allowed old Woodrow to say, okay, everything is fine here in the United States. Now we go on and overthrow all the rest of the world in outer space. Let us make telescopes and see exactly how far it is that our manifest destiny extends. And really the only thing different that the Democrats are saying today is they're on their hands and knees begging the Republicans, can, can we please, can, can the middle class, can they come along? Can, can they go to, can they go to outer space with us? Well, I don't know. Do they believe in oil? They, they're the clean cut ones. They got a nice short haircut and they wear the nice clothes and all. Because we don't want any of them people as long as they ain't neat and clean and everything. Well, yes, I think so. Well, we'll see, but they gotta they gotta support oil. They gotta be full of pipeline. They gotta be they gotta go along with that. So there was always a lot of pressure on people in the United States. There were Problems with survival and then manufacturing, trade, different opportunities came by that for one reason or another would make survival a little bit easier. Of course, there was always greater access to the earth than there is now, but then you had wild animals and people that already lived here that didn't like the idea of being deprived of their access to the earth. But there was always a struggle. And now all of the all of the things that made that struggle simpler are no longer effective. Uh, their 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 e efficacy has been uh, milked, as it were. Uh, there there's nothing left in that regard. And it was very similar to the time that Jimmy Carter came into power because at that time people were saying things like well there's too much there, there's too much risk aversion people don't want to take chances there was still this idea that well people don't really speculate people invest you invest and to be honest with you the the opportunities that you would that you had in terms of investment, uh, in terms of speculative investments particularly, 
uh, were less, far less than they were in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, in the 80s and the 90s, if you had like $15,000, you could buy a stock and uh, make quite a lot of money from it. You could go into the market with that kind of money and, and rather effortlessly pull out uh, one or two grand. And now they're talking about things like, well, this tax cut is going to give everybody a thousand extra dollars for the whole year. So, in a lot of ways, it's it's these things that the Democrats are proposing are impractical. The things that the the Republicans are proposing are obsolete. They're not going to do anything for anybody. And it's really difficult to um, to get this across, it seems. I, I do these video blogs. I do written blogs. It's even difficult to write anymore. No one responds to me. So the conversation is just one-sided. I see something on television and I respond to it or read something in, in a magazine or the newspaper and I, I try to comment on it. But I wish that uh, someone at Congress, anyone, even if it's just one person, would would come forward and try to champion this solar energy thing. Instead of like this Bernie Sanders, he comes up with this this corporate personhood thing. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't address. I, I made another video blog in response to this guy that had posted Bernie Sanders going on about this personhood thing. And I've done blogs on it and I've done comments on it. You know, my link is, is there on my profile, the Tumblr, if you want to read about it. It's not that hard to find. Uh, one more thing, though, that I wanted to touch on was this. The, and, and it's part of the title, Selling Your Soul. There was this guy, Anton Svendor LeVay, that came out with the Satanic Bible. I don't know exactly when this guy started up all this stuff, but I remember it was kind of a big thing in the 70s. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because it seems as though one of the one of the persons, or maybe the only person that made this possible, or that we know of that made it possible, was some guy named Aquino that uh, was a person that, that worked for military intelligence, USA military intelligence. Of course, LeVay had the Church of Satan, uh, and uh, Aquino had the Temple of Set. Um, and uh, all of these guys were uh, were some self-admitted Satanists or something. And it was funny because I was reading, uh, the I think it's the introduction to uh, LeVay's Satanic Bible. And I can't remember who it was that wrote the introduction to it, but some <laughs> maybe it was this Tom Hartman guy because there was somebody in there that was saying, saying stuff like, uh, you know, Satanism is good. I mean, how fucking crazy is that? It's like everything that we've ever read about it or known about it is supposed to be based on this idea that uh, if you if you revolt against God, if you rebel against God, or, and of course God is what all of these men have defined God to be, which seems to be lately... Uh, you know, whatever you think is like the ultimate thing is God. And uh, it's like you can't, can't be sex, you know, because that would make you a homosexual. Uh, so it's got to be something else like killing people, destroying people, taking over the world. That's God. That's God power. And you try to figure out, well, what the hell is satanic power? I guess it must be the opposite of that because isn't that really how these both of these things arose? Uh it's us against them. 
one side versus the other, good versus evil. There has to be this, you know, we have to get down to the root. There's an absolute good and absolute evil. Well, I think the whole thing is bullshit, but it was like the, what this LeVay guy was holding out to people like me uh, who are thinking, that, Jesus Christ, what the fuck do you have to do to get laid around here? You know, well, you have to have a job. You have to get a job on the pipeline. You have to have, you have to support oil. Uh, you have to get a nice haircut, wear nice neat clothes, and get money and pay for it, boy. That's the way. It's the American way. You don't say anything, you know. Don't let the ladies know about it, you know. But yeah. yeah. So um, I suppose there were a lot of people that that went out and said, "I'm going to sell my soul." I here, here, here's my soul. Satan, take my soul. All I want is prize pussy. Or give me money so I could buy some, you know? I, I, th this is how desperate people become. Uh, and, and part of that desperation has to do with believing in something. And a lot of people believed in the Democratic Party and still believe in it, you know? But I just don't see anything at all. I like... I like the Constitution. I think it's okay. And I think maybe if there was some way that people could just get elected to government and use the government to do things for the betterment of the people, that it would be okay. But I just don't, I just do not see any hope whatsoever in the Democratic Republican single party monolith. I just don't see it. And it seems as though every time somebody comes up with, with a third-party proposition, you have to go along with one of, these, one of these factions. You know, it's like, okay, Ron Paul's a libertarian. You could be against law, laws that forbid prostitution and pot use, but you got to be, you, you, you have to be in favor of states' rights. You can't, you know, you, uh, there, there's always this condition uh, or like this Bernie Sanders guy, he's an independent apparently, but he's he's on the committees with Democrats, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know how the hell it works, to be honest with you. But I just I just don't see people that are absolutely independent. There was some guy on a Tom Harkins, the member. He, he's the chairman of some committee. It's got some big long name. It has something to do with education. They're doing this education bill and this one guy I guess he was from North Carolina was saying you know we want to we want to take these these two streams of revenue and turn them into two block grants in other words we're not we're not we're not complaining about money coming into the federal government and you you giving it back to the states you know he's saying things like you know, I everybody knows that the states and the local governments, they know what's best for the children, for education, all that, you know. And I'm thinking, well, if I was there, if I was Tom Harkin, I would have said, good, go back to the state and pay for it yourself. Okay, next issue. Uh, but this guy is essentially saying, you know, we want, we want you to give us the money and then just let the state and local governments do whatever they want with it. It'll have some relationship to education, you know, like prayer in school or something like that. But just let them do whatever they want with it. These are the kinds of crazy things that, that happen in the government. You know, so the, the Republican, the, the Republican uh, solution is just do away with it. And then uh, they're able to purchase majorities at the local and state and local level much simpler than they are at the federal level i just uh, there was something that statistically proved this I, I don't know if i reposted or not on my tumblr blog i don't know but i'm getting tired from doing this and, and i'm getting all mossy and um i got this this door door doorknob jab thing on my lip so for the nonce See ya.